The defence didn't have time to set. Dean Bell, beautiful pass, a nice little short blindside play. They were running against front rowers, and when a ringer, winger runs against a front rower, he's always going to win. Good stuff from Sean Hoppy, and the crowd have gone berserk. You missed a couple in your time, Toddy, eh? <laughs> Wingers, that is. 24 years of age, Hoppy. Some big uh, tackles missing as well on the inside, especially from David Ferner. Slippery conditions. But I think the outsides, the flanks, are where the Warriors can win the game. Sean Hoppy, none is equal. Namu from right alongside the post. Trying to convert the 19th try of 95 for Hoppy. to give the Warriors a real chance at this match over the defending champs, the Raiders. And I think this is it, Lowy. This is the match they have to win to climb and stay in the eight. This is the match, no doubt about it. I think everybody owes a debt of gratitude to Ian Robson and his staff for providing the atmosphere before this game. A sensational build-up to this match. It's just up to the 13th players now. Vets. Great by he has been as well. Bell. The Raiders still employing that short line of defence. Wow, match call over. Now it is against the Raiders for holding down in the tackle. Good slack there in the market area by the Canberra Raiders. Can't afford to give those penalties away on a night like tonight. Andy Black. <laughs> Eru. Vince finds a nice gap, another chance. Pat Kearney on the inside. Extra smart play the balls. Good thinking game to start this one from Auckland. Thought about inside, gives Blackmore possibility and again to Harvey. Leading try scorer now in the Winfield Cup along with Steve Menzies from Manly. Kearney heavily involved from the beginning. One more tackle, Alexander. Arrow to the end goal. Tough one here for Nagus. He won't get out of there, they'll get it back again. It's all falling for the Warriors. Well, it's not falling for the Warriors. They're making it fall. That's the thing. They're playing very, very well professionally. Great little kick there from Sidiru, but he backed it up with pressure. That's the key. Nagus had no worries, no, no chance of getting out of that position there. Canberra in defence again. Everything Hockey's touched has turned to a chance. The big thing is, though, this Canberra Raider side, plenty of experience out there. They've been behind plenty of times before. So many cool heads. They can strike back if you give them half a chance. Tell them of Bell. Happy to settle things down just near the 20. On a run around. Cutting man out. Alexander with a good short ball up for Nam, who did well to take the tackle of Daly and hang on to it. Jones. Dummy to kick. Wasn't taken by Pongia, who finished him off. Got an arm wrestle with him. Eru just ducking in behind the line. 12 metres out. Blackmore loses it. So the Raiders come up with it. Apologies to you all for having any problems with pitches. There's another penalty comes up for the Raiders. A couple of strong tackles going in there. Just a bit too much eagerness by the Auckland Warriors. 
Canberra come up with a penalty. They really need, they are under pressure, but they do have a lot of cool, cool heads out there. Auckland must keep the guard about them the whole time. Toddy, you, you think some of your old teammates at Canberra might have a little bit of Ericksonitis? <laughs> Well, it's certainly got everything against them. The weather, the crowd, the drums, the ground. But don't worry about Canberra boys. They've just taken the ball up. They defended very well on their line then. I mean, uh, the Warriors have had four or five sets of six at them. And they've defended well. And this is when the stage... Tim Sheen's always had a ploy that in the first 20 minutes, he just like nothing, nothing scary. Just take the ball up, settle down. That second 20, that's when they'll come alive. Adrington on the inside. Dangerous when their forwards start to support each other. Well, this is the first time they've been down the Warriors into the park. Daly, little chip. Kerwin has to hurry. Just got there in time. Daly was gone. It was sitting up for him. So that is quite a save. Big turnaround. And Kerwin stays in the midfield. Well, this is a great play here. Good little chip kick. Have a look at John Kerwin, though. He saved a certain try then. 38 out from their own line. The handling so far has been quite outstanding. The threat from Daly will come again. Kearney. Well, it's Daly's part running game and Stewart passing game. This is what you can't do to a team as good as this. Give it back to them. It'll be the end of the section. Pongia. Well, he's a bonus too. He gives it back. And a chance to curl it. Well taken by Daly. Betts will have support, but they just want to edge away to the 50. Not to Mavavi, though. Got rid of one. Eru calling for the quick play of the ball. It was slowed down. Now they have to go very wide to Namu. Jones setting himself. Keen to take on the line tonight. Just like Kearney. Away from one. Two. Spins himself into Canberra territory. From a long way back, Bell with support from Platt. The two former Wigginers. And now Kelvin Jess, not happy about the tackle. Now Pongia looks as though he's headed for the blood bin. That tackle from Lomax that hit the top of the shoulder, travelled up high. So Pongia won't be back for a while. Must be a danger on the back of Johnny Lomax's mind the number of times missed the grand final because of a high shot last year. Yeah, must prey on his mind, but he's a professional, John Lomax. Inside the 30 now. Namu, switching direction, somebody's got to tidy up. Brilliantly scooped up by Alexander. Kerwin living amongst the warrior forwards so far. One more tackle remaining. Alexander terrorizing Nandruku. Stepping back on the inside and doing well to bring it about six meters away from the end goal. He did very well there. Relieved his own goal line. What the Warriors have to do now is try and force an error with this field position behind them. They're coming really handy at this stage of the game. Stewart. Heavy shot of charge from Dennis Betts. And Stewart will take a compulsory eight. Quick check from trainers. Pat on the back for Betts from Platt. Judge for yourself. That replay suggesting it was a little bit high. This is the man that makes it all happen for Canberra. One of the greatest players in the game, Stuart. Another look at it. Cropped the shoulder right under the chin. It was a good shoulder charge that. And wound his clock for sure. Scrum to go down right on the 20. Back 
sideline play to bring Riccardi together with Blackmore. Becoming quite a combination, but they give it away. Jess says it was not back. Bell. We know Jack left in his mind about the effort that he put into his last game on home soil. Stewart tries to give Betts some back of his own. Got some treatment. And the penalty finally comes. Canberra getting a little bit frustrated with young Kelvin Jeffs. They've had something to say as well. Now Stewart goes over, adds his bit. So does 30,000 round the stadium. Yeah, well, the referee is lucky out there tonight because he has got 30,000 helpers. Ricky Stewart coming in, giving him a little bit of a serve. But Betts did well to stand on his feet here, and that's what caused the problem to start with a lot of frustration. Johnny Lomax just couldn't get off in time. That's what's caused the penalty. Might be a costly two points. Johnny Lomax. Picked up a title last year, even though he missed the grand final under suspension. Plenty of rumours about both even talking to the Warriors for next year. Something that will have to be settled. Another look at Stewart with the swinging arm. A lot of strength shown by Betts. Staying on his feet most of the time. Kept his cool, got the penalty. Warriors have picked up six of their ten home games. The Raiders, nine of their ten away games. Vital from Namu for some comfort. Just to edge away. Does the trick. Stretches it a little bit more. 8-0 the Warriors. Perfect start out there tonight for the Warriors. What have we gone through the minds of those Raiders? Well, I'll just be trying to shut the crowd up because every time the Warriors make a bit of a break or do something enthusiastic, the crowd really gets behind them. And it certainly is lifting the Warriors players. But they know that they're still in this game, the, the Raiders. They're defending pretty well. Give away a, a couple of stupid penalties. But uh, don't worry about them, I'll be back. Eru, stepping, ducking, bobbing, weaving, picking up some valuable territory. Platt tries to run straight out of the top of Ricky Stewart. Well, that was an important run, that, because he got well over the advantage line. There's another one, just with support. Enjoyed a great flow of possession so far, the Warriors. Namu under pressure. Tool Mavavi gets the left footer in, sends it down to the danger man. Hasn't been mentioned as yet. Mullins may go down, give him some treatment. Magus. Bounces out of two. Finally put down by Platt. They take it to the 50. Stewart with Lomax. One more tackle for the green machine. Short side for Stewart. Happy to put it out towards the sideline. Breaks back in towards Namu. And they will try and throw him back into the end goal. Kerwin there to assist. John Kerwin's done a lot of good out there. He helped to start with, then took the dummy half play away. Good work for the winger. Away goes this stadium again. Kerwin has had a busy start to the game, had a good one for him. Problems now, though, for the Warriors coughing up possession in the play the ball. What an opportunity for the Raiders. Overall possession, 2-1 to one to the Warriors. The opposition half, they really have streeted them. Now, Canberra to hit back through David. Fine defence from Rapati. Wiki hasn't seen anything of the ball so far. Stewart cuts out, taken nicely by Croker. Difficult one for him. Just 
it's denied by inches. Stewart, wide and quick service to Daly for Clyde to change the angle back to Daly. What a combination! Warriors dispute the final pass, but two of the greatest in the world getting together to send it away for it. Well, two of the greatest in the world, the Ansett New Zealand Reflail Show. Good quick passing out to the midfield here. Well, I've got a little bit of doubt over the last pass, whether or not it was for it. It was great play from these two fine internationals. No, that looked OK. Straight in under the post. Good yeah, try. good little double round from Laurie Daly here. Bradley Clyde, he's a handful and can offload a ball all the time. Now, Laurie Daly in that position is always going to score. Tremendous work from them, them two. They're going to have to be shut down. Change your mind yet about the pass? Well, that last camera angle certainly showed there's a little bit of doubt on it, but um, it's no good disputing it. It's on the board now. The Warriors have got to kick back, but it was a great play from two fine internationals. Brings up Daly's eighth try of the season. Sixty percent only for Ferner this year. Just when they needed to, they dig deep. Eight six the Warriors. One more look at this pass. I think the direction of it was that Clyde actually does edge this a little bit forward himself. No doubt about it. Yeah, the referee not in a position to pick up a forward pass here. But it's interesting to note the first sustained field position the Canberra had, and they come up with a six-pointer. Tommy, you're back after being stitched up. <laughs> Quick play, the ball coming for Canberra. Catching two men on the deck. Good tactics. And again, they look for it through Ferner. Steve Walters popping it back for Fern. Player who must be watched. Fine step off both feet. Steve Walters. On the last, they've already gone over the 50. Stewart driving it low. Taken nicely. And there's Namu. Tries to straighten up. Picked off by Hetherington. Jones. Remarkable atmosphere. Even when they're down defending their own 20, trying to bring this one away. 27,000 has been the crowd average here at Ericsson. Fans have been superb. Betts. Straightening up. Alexander looking to kick. He's got Namu a lot wider, who will also be under pressure. Just manages to get the kick in. Through the legs of Mandriku. Thought about going to Mullins. John Mooney had a game plan going into this one. He'd be happy because it's been carried out completely. Well, they are doing everything very well, exposing the flanks in particular. Not necessary to take Canberra on down the middle of the field. Expose the flanks, wait till the defence is spread, then do it down the middle. Warning for Andy Platt this time. Swinging arm just under the chin of Clyde, who was screaming out to the referee. David Wesley goes back to the bench. Luke DeVico just warming up to the Raiders as well now. Penalties just favouring the Raiders. The stat that's going to be most important in this particular game, the field position. That's the thing. Position in the opposition half. Strong running from Tony Excellent season. Ferner. Again, they just slow that play the ball down. Stewart. Inside for Clyde. 
follow each other everywhere. Following Stuart and Dale. Hendricks is not expecting that. Breakdown in communication around the ruck area then between Stuart and Daly. Who wants to play at this one? Touched by the Raiders. Mullins complained that he was held back out of that. And there was a lot of interference in the chases coming through there, but they've got away with it. That's the thing. It's a good kick here. Good high bomb. Plenty of pressure behind it. Interference running everywhere there. A strong running now to bring it away from the 20. Jones. Kerwin. Kerwin chased by Wicky. Gets away from him. On a roll, the Warriors, but they've only got one more tackle. Jones. Jones needs it to bounce his way. The Raiders cough it up. What a play from little Stacy Jones. They will have the scrum and the feed. It's right. Sensational play here from Stacey Jones, but what about the great run from John Kerwin? Dragged it in in one hand. This was a great run, this. Reuben Wickey went too high there. He's lucky to have got away with it at that particular point. Could have been disaster, but look at this. He backs himself all day, this kid, Stacey Jones. A great run player. Rapati. Right in front of the post. Nabu up in the line. He wants support, tries to step, picked off by Ferner. Six metres away only, two of the Barbie to settle. Jones to the bench. Blake out there as an impact player. Bell. Right in front of the post. Blake looking to get his first touch. Can he do the trick? Alexander with best leg of the numbers, Cowan! Should have been another one. The pass was just a little too late. Just a fraction. It was costly. It was. This was great play here out to the left-hand side of the field. A good pass, this last one. But Nandruku, he's done it. He's stopped a certain four-pointer. Had it. They had it. Then it was saved by Nandruku. How important will that be? But they've even got more possession. Don't have to push the pass. Keep their cool from men like Alexander. Blackmore for Hoppy. Trying to get the outside now. Inside and away from Nagus. To the midfield to set up for the minor side of the run. Playing the game of their lives at the moment. The tackle of his life from Ruben Wicky. Kearney needs support. Will be able to unload. On a run around from Tua Mavavi as this Canberra defence just swarms in. Ten and a half minutes remaining till half time. Blackmore. This time it gets stolen on the other wing, and this time they'll get it back through the scrum. How much longer can the champs hang on? Lawton Warriors using the flanks. They're outflanking the Raiders all night. Everything's working real well. Look at that for a hit. Great tackle from Ruben Wicky. Absolutely desperate, Canberra, as they try and chase the minor premiership title, while the Warriors try and pursue this position in the top eight. Andy Platt heads it towards the post. Five metres away only as Gavin Hill gets the call. And Nabu heeds the call from Alexander to go inside. Now Eru, still they are five metres away. Blake from Dummy Half. Blake! The gap was there. The door was shut by Mullins. Alexander way too deep. That is remarkable defence. Three sets of six. They couldn't bust them. Sensational defence that by the Canberra Raiders. That's where they were the Premiers last year. But I think this Warrior side they're up against tonight are showing that next year they could be the champions of Super League. They're going really well. So many class players out there. They're going to be a true force next year. Plenty of changes happening.
to both sides, Toddy. Yeah, that's right. Gavin Hill's gone on for the Warriors. Tony Tumivavi has come off. And um, David Wesley's also gone for the, for the Raiders. So they're using up plenty of petrol with nine minutes to go in this first half because the conditions are fairly heavy out there. But great effort from the, from the, um, from the Raiders. And I'm sure there'll be a big plus for Tim Sheen to be very happy with that defensive effort. And that'll lift the boys. You watch them. They'll keep going with the job now. They'll, I'm definitely, they're very confident in the way they're playing. Solid. Absolutely solid under pressure. That man there in the picture, Steve Ogg, is playing a big part in it at the moment because if you have a look next time, he's in a dummy half. His service from that area is absolutely fantastic. Nano comes up with the fumble of the night and says to this team from across the Tasman, here is your best chance. Well, Gene Namu, a fine young player, did the splits there, then couldn't pick the ball up. Maybe that black tape got in his eyes. Got to get it off his mind straight away. Oh, he will. He's a fine young player, Gene Nama. He's made a terrible blunder out there. He's just got to hope now that he saves what might be a try on the making. 30,000 hearts just suck a little. Ricky! 37 tackles in the opposition. Half the Raiders now 18 only. But after soaking it up, they might come up with a try of their own. They are only five metres away. Now, Stewart tried to play the ball. He had a marker, and he knocked it on. Now, I just wonder why Kelvin Jeffs didn't penalise him if he had the marker anyway. Was there one there in time? Could have gone either way. Well, I think that should have been a penalty one way or the other. Till Mavavi in the pits but for how long now as the Warriors try and get out of this 20 Bell happy just to go from dummy half and an important five metres trying to get that roll on hitting the ball on the advantage line like that that's what's required get out of this danger zone Error trying to milk it for a penalty because Werner was in his way in an offside position. Alexander has to hurry to get the kick in. There is no doubt that both teams' tactics are pretty similar. Warriors keep going to Nantrucco. The Raiders in behind Kerwin. He's the first man back. A tremendous support player all over the park. Rated the number one lock in the world and probably rightly so. A big man as well. Scrappy amongst the play of the ball. This match has so much on the line. Wicky held down. Stewart, no angle to work with. But he tries to break this one back towards the sideline. Nama is still thinking about the last time. But there's no fumble on this occasion. Ten out from their own line. Very important time of the, now, of the game now, Graham. They can't afford to make a mistake, the blokes in the blue jumpers. Five and a half minutes to the break. If anything, the Raiders look like they've looked, looked at the intensity. Just get the feeling, Tony, though, for all that possession with the Warriors, they need to have another try on the board. Yeah, they certainly do. I mean, it's the little things, those little mistakes like Ginobili made. You know, you can't afford to do that with Cameron. They're defending so well, the Raiders. They just look as though they're just waiting for their opportunity to set this game alight. And it's going to be one of those players we've talked about, Clyde or Daly, or this man here, who's been pretty quiet, but wait till he joins into the back line. He is very dangerous. So too is Nagus. You go to that back three of Mullins, Nagus and Mandruku, you've got to get down there in big numbers. High tackle from Bell, went unchecked. Stewart. With Daly. And Wesley. Swinging arm from Alexander. But it will go against the drop ball from Wesley. This might give them the opportunity to add that extra try. Warriors very lucky here, they didn't get penalised. Well played at the ball. Thought Wesley was going to try and pop it over the top. No. Cannot 
get away from Dana. A big hello to the TVNZ crew down in Wellington watching with their special guest tonight at Avalon Studio. I'm sure they're enjoying it. A big hello from all us guys. Great game unfolding. Last home match for the Warriors. They are giving it absolutely everything. First 40 minute effort that has the Premiers on the back foot. Alexander switching play. Rapati. Got away from Daly. What a show of strength. Now Taylor. But there is a massive big green wall in front of him. Inside the 10, last tackle, Blake makes a mess of it. They complain about Daly in amongst the play of the ball. No call from the touch judge. And Kelvin Jess will not hear about it. Well, no doubt what's well, he played at it. Had to be a penalty. <laughs> Laurie Daly laying on his back, swung his arm round, hit the ball. I know he's Laurie Daly, but he should have been penalised. <laughs> You've got to call that a fairly big bait on it. <laughs> well, I'd say it's pretty smart, Laura Daly. You've got to wait with it. I tell you, when, you, when you're the snod, you can get away with anything, I reckon. He is a legend. If you can do that in front of a line on fire and 30,000 people, you get away with it. Especially when you're at Ericsson Stadium. On opposition to Wesley. Two and a half minutes. I was about to say, who might just go to sleep? Who might knock off before half-time early? There's something to prove with Kearney. Now somebody else is headed to the blood bin. Clyde's out of here. And Hetherington will go back into the fray. Important member of their defensive line. Blake shovels it out for Alexander, who is forced to travel backwards. Blackmore. 40 metres away. A couple of minutes to do something. Ten picked up by Blackmore. Now Blake to search wide for an opportunity. Great defence out there. Big effort coming in from Canberra in defence. Alexander floating this one for Bell to dummy. Then to try and set it up up the middle for Kearney. Chance if they can spread, he couldn't. Big numbers out wide, but it was shut down. Blake thinks about the end goal, thinks about Hoppy, and Mullins is there on cue. In the conditions, they're playing superbly. Warriors playing absolutely fantastic football. This is their best display so far this year. They've had some great games, the Warriors, but they're up against the champions tonight, and they're playing like champions themselves. Last 60 seconds. Take their time, the Raiders. They have been forced time and time again to come up with some saves right at their own in-goal area. 47 tackles in the opposition half. Great advantage for the Warriors, but they've still got to show it at the break on the scoreboard. Two-point lead, they need to stretch it by another four or six. Can they find it? Been tough to try and get through this green machine. Bell. Someone was supposed to be there. Someone went missing and Bell has plenty to say. Kearney. Kearney causing some problems. Error to the end goal. I think that still play on. Canberra have to put it dead. Original knock on was against the Raiders. The advantage now with another restart. But there is only 12 seconds. Well, great play here. A lot of speculation. Danger time for the Raiders. They have survived it. They've done well to survive along the last 10 minutes of this first half. Last tackle. Kerwin, he might put this one up. Tries to stretch it now. Rapati, spread is on. Alexander thinks about going real wide. Can't get behind the line. Loses it. But a great beginning. They're searching for a chance. 
of the top eight in their first season. And they've come up with the goods in the first 40. Packed house at Ericsson. We are underway. And Gavin Hill to get a touch to bring it back to try and burst out of the 20. Bell. Interesting to get the thoughts of both coaches, Tony, what was said at the break. Well, Tim Sheens was reasonably happily the Canberra coach, considering the amount of possession that the Warriors have had. He said his players have had to defend quite a while. He wants the Raiders to slow the off and play the balls down. A big kick and chase game, wants plenty of field possession. He also said in the forwards to work that little inside ball to get more to gain more yardage. John Money, on the other hand, he wants his players, especially his forwards, to complete their sets of six with better execution. Also, is, wants more hit ups from his forwards and to start working in twos and threes backing each other up. Mandriku, again they keep going to his wing. He loses it and the Warriors do as well. Last touch against the Warriors. It should be a Canberra feed. The party it was, I think, that put it out over the sideline. Mandriku trying to run for John Kerr in there, but Kerr had too much experience. Just unfortunate for Auckland, though. Off to your row party. Bonus for the Raiders. 8-6. Just the two in it. And 38 and a half minutes away from what would be a stunning upset. Well, I've been watching this 40 minutes, Graham, the first 40, and I feel that Auckland Warriors are well up to semi-finals football. The type of play they've been putting on out here tonight is sensational. Up against a great side. I think they can do the same thing next week against the Broncos. Steve Walters has not been able to skip away. Devico had a touch and always went back, said Kelvin Jeffs. Alexander disagreed. Rufal, look at the referee. Daly. This time in behind Hoppy. And they will settle for the scrum 10 metres out. So the pace just slowing a little from the restart. Well, it had to slow from the restart, Graham. It was an outstanding pace in the first 40 minutes. Quite obvious, though, that Raiders are going to try and concentrate on getting some field position of their own, prepared to kick the ball out on the last tackle if necessary, and try and force an error with big hits like this. Wicking's defence out wide has been quite outstanding. They're all inside. They all got a little head start. Too big a head start, said the referee. Tommy are one of them. Now they'll be turned around. Good opportunity for the Warriors on early tackles now to get well and truly at the end of the six in the Canberra Territory. Gavin Hill. Got an opportunity against the Bulldogs. Didn't let anybody down. Impressed his coach. Betts has impressed everybody most of the season. Switch on for Alexander. Rapati, 107 tackles, overall possession. Big advantage, and bigger still at the other end of the panic in the opposition half. But they've got to lay on some more tries. Got to start putting it on the scoreboard. Alexander to cross kick, back towards Nagus. Nagus just managed it. Lost it. Who wants it? Remarkable. Mullins was on the spot. That was what they needed. But that is a real rescue from Mullins. Outstanding play here from Nagus versus to catch the ball. But have a look at Brett Mullins running around here. He scooped it up in one hand. The guy's a genius. He's got nerves of steel. Nandruku it was. Massive restart from Canberra in these conditions. Namu. That's a terrific restart to pick him off inside his own half. Hoppy. Just like everybody has in this Warriors side, they've fought for the quick play of the balls. So they can get some momentum up to put a charge in like that one from Platt that fires everyone up. Betts. 
still working away hard at this midfield. They have taken it to the Raiders. Bell, back infield for Hoppy to try and link up. Couldn't straighten. Last tackle. Alexander, this time along the deck. Really have worked him over. One of those players that can have a horror night with his hands, Mandrika. Well, he's a good player. He doesn't show any sign of that tonight. Likes throwing that dummy to nobody, but gee whiz, you wouldn't want to kick to him all night. He's liable to punish you. This time the Warriors get punished by Kelvin Jeffs. Not happy with the tackle being finished off. Also, Graham, if I can say a special hello to the Warrior Poodle that sent me a letter with his poor Mark. A great letter. We really appreciate it. <laughs> I still think the same about the Poodles, though. Quite proper that you should get some letters of protest after your remarks last week. DeVico to play at 40 metres out. One of the rare opportunities for the Raiders. Pongia working with Ferner. They have not had a lot to work with. No marker. And he just goes right up the middle inside the 10. Now they're stretched. Calling for the penalty was Ricky Stewart. Daly. Daly! You can't leave him alone. There's no doubt about this man. One of the most valuable assets in the game at full stretch. Well, the Antioch replay will probably show us here. This was a great run here to start with. A fine run just straight from the marker. Well, straight. He didn't have a marker, so he, he got them in the field position. But have a look at Laurie Daly out here. Really nowhere to go. A bit of a change of angle. A through a gap. Got slowed down in half a tackle, stretched his arm out, nearly dropped it if he did drop it. Yeah, great work. He's got so much time on his hands, Laurie Daly. That's a sign of a good player when you've got plenty of time. He had plenty of decoy runners. Look at Richie Blackmore. He turned him inside out. Now, let's see if he did get that ball down. Well, here we go. That's a fair try. Got it back, took control of it. No doubt about it, took control as the ball touched the ground. Well, nobody in the ground thinks it was a fair try, but I was watching Laurie Daly's head of his fan club. She said no doubt whatsoever. Ferner, trying to keep the 100% record. In goal judge, referee and a touch judge all had a chance to say something. They gave it their nod, and they give them a nod to take the lead for the first time, 10 -8. Well, Hughesy, this got to be the most important 30 minutes of the season for the Auckland Warriors. A big game on the hands out there tonight. They've done really, really well, but they must strike back. They've got to try and force the error themselves and do a camera on the Raiders. Last home game as well for us in the 95 season. Our thanks to all our sponsors, Lion Red, Lancet, New Zealand for the way they've looked after us and our favourite place in Auckland, the Centra Hotel. Been quite a year and we've enjoyed tremendous support from all those sponsors for so many years now. Namu, this game can turn quickly. Great play from the Raiders to pin them about 15 metres out from their own line. We're talking about the Centre Hotel, it'd be great if you went up to the bar tonight just for once and put your hand in your pocket and shout at us. Just shout us all a lemonade. Those comments courtesy of one of the richest coaches in the game who can be found living up north. City of Townsville in Australia next year. 32 metres out for the Warriors. Got to get on with it. Got to keep on spreading, got to take it to them right throughout the game. Last tackle. Well, it's important they keep hitting the ball in the advantage line through their plays and then get a good kick in with good chases behind it. Vegas linking with Mullins. Threatening to get away. 
quick play of the ball. Upset by Blackmore, but he was offside from the play of the ball. Not directly in front. Blackmore thinks he's got a try. Calvin Jeff says, come back here and rejoin me near halfway. There was no way in the world that he was onside. No, you've got to stand directly and immediately in front, but you've got to say also, it was the best no try of the game. <laughs> Blackmore <laughs> travels all the way back. Game just starting to turn a little, Toddy. Well, it certainly is. And I mean, the Raiders were in very, very confident because they'd had no possession in the first half, and yet they were still in this game. And so, you know, they've come out in the second half. All they need is a bit of ball, and they'll cause havoc out there. They have the penalties by two. Davico, one of the finds of the year for the Raiders. Bonia, very quick defence. He's done a good job in the front row for the Raiders this year. Fanner put down strongly. Good tackle from Gavin Hill. Stewart and Daly operating, looking for runners wide. Wesley standing. Now they're starting to get into gear. Bit more possession coming their way. Got to keep them out. Daly allowed to run again, this time for Ferner. And Ferner will crash over. It is all about possession, this game. Well, the NZ New Zealand replay shows not any possession. It's field position there. And in down the right end of the park. Have a look at this guy running with the ball, Laurie Daly. Puts Ferner straight through a good hole there, and he's got the strength and pace to go on. Yeah, good work from the Raiders. They shifted the Warriors' defence right across the other side, then out to their terrific back line. What Laurie Daly can run with him all day. He had runners off him, and this bloke here, he knows how to score. He's a fine young player, David Ferner. Great try. I think the, War the Raiders might just go on with it here. Can't afford to let Daly dictate the way they have since the break. 25 years of age, Ferner on our Ansett New Zealand player profile. Another look at the way they allowed Daly just to pick off the gap. Blackmore stood out. Great strength in the end. Well, it's a good part of their good play. Running. They have a wide running second row Four out amongst the centers. Always a handful. On the fringes of the ruck, they're very, very hard to stop because of their size and strength. And also, when you're like this guy with the speed. Nine tries, 69 goals, all adding up for 174 points for the Raiders this year from David Ferner. This is the one that is most important. Does he give them some space? Not quite elbow, elbow room yet. 14-8. Now they need to find the second try. Well, it wouldn't surprise me at all as soon as they're in within range. We saw Ricky Stewart coming up with a field goal. He can kick him from 45, 50 metres out. Expect a minute to have a go. Tongue in. Stewart has kicked off three field goals this year. High shot there on Luke Devica. Wesley. Big efforts coming from their bench. In this game, the Raiders. Stewart. When they get into this sort of rhythm, they just have the game really on the... Just pull up with the reins for Stewart and Dale. Well, they're such a professional side. Been together for a long time. Tim Sheens, one of the best in the business, if not the best in the business. Knows how to prepare them. Their away record this year has just been sensational. 25 and a half minutes to get out of it. 25 and a half minutes for Dean Bell to find a victory in his last game on home soil. And Graham Portland's coaches, I think John Marty, along with Tim Sheens there, has been one of the best coaches in the Winfield Cup. Done a great job of the first year here preparing the guys week in, week out. They've had some high games, they've had some low games, but he's managed to get them back. And you will not see a kick like that again. Here's a chance as they break through to Vico. Alexander was trapped as he tried to put the kick in. Stewart, very wide. Clyde has to 
just stopped at restart. Now it's picked up by the Warriors in Blackmore. Well, they must retain position when they're down this end of the well, possession when they're down this end of the park. They've just got to grind away again, get themselves in good attacking mode. Very bunched at the moment. Eru, that's what they need. That's perfect play. Someone else to hit it on the advantage line now would be a bonus. Black just goes from dummy half himself, looks for support. Hill was there. He's had a good game, Gavin Hill, since he's been on. Short side for Betts. Goes back up the middle. Now it's on the last tackle. Black for Alexander to bomb away. Falling this one for Mullins. Who's going to play? Alexander tries to climb. Mullins left alone. You can't do it. On turnaround now for Croker. Namu is there in a saving tackle. Tony, they've just found another gear, picked up the pace, the Raiders. Yeah, it all comes down to quick play the balls. They get a bit of a roll on with their big forwards as Clyde goes out there. They get a bit of a roll on, and Ricky Stewart and the backs just love it. You just see they just seem to lift that little bit to lift the tempo. And it's where Gabby, uh, Ricky Stewart loves it as the Warriors make two more replacements. Tony Tumabavi and Stacey Jones going on for Gavin Hill and Phil Blake. Hill has done well. Blackmore looking for a spell at that stage too. Sometimes it works for a coach. Blake was outstanding against the Bulldogs, but didn't quite work out for him tonight. No, he's a fine player, but he really comes into his own 25 metres out from the opposition's line. Tua Mavavi up the middle. Stacey Jones is his type of player that takes from his own goal line, and that's what's required tonight at this stage of the match. Still a little bit bunched, the Warriors. The switch is back on for Jones and Alexander and Blackmore. Good ball back inside. Kearney has support too. Pushes it back for Alexander. Good quick hands. Numbers, but they couldn't move it. Last tackle. Alexander to run at the line. Namu. Namu. Pushes it all the way back to Ricky Stewart. There was a doubt on the pass from Alexander to Namu. through Hetherington and John Lomax as they come up with a penalty. Just got to keep the pressure on them. Can't keep on coughing up penalties when you go down there. No, pressure. That's what it's all about at the moment. Greg Alexander looking for a surf on David Ferner then. He was pleading. Two to one those penalties to the Raiders and they have got three straight. Pong here back to the bench. Long with Ferner. Wicky. Still 21 and a half minutes. Lomax. Comes off second best right on halfway. Stewart with the support play of Bradley Clyde. Edmonton changing the angle for Dubico. And they've worked for him in this second half. Edmonton once more. Really found his form late last season in their charge to the grand final. Stewart will be looking for Nagus to get in behind Hoppy. Tries to cover it up and will have to put it dead. Great play from Stewart, they'll get it back. Well, his kicking game is the best in the business, and they're really starting to put the screws on now, playing very, very well. Plenty of pressure, plenty of excitement. Everybody's enjoying it. We've got to tell everyone down at Hoka Ticker that Barry Wilson and Buddy Tainui are enjoying themselves and said, don't worry about them, they're having a good night. Where was that? <laughs> Hoka Ticker, a good part of the world. Good part of the world right here tonight. Fine game from the Warriors against the champions, the Premiers, Canberra. Who are parked just outside the 20. Lomax. Time is right for Stewart. He is still searching for another four-pointer, though, as he goes to Daly. And Clyde on a run around as they hang off him. The 
they've given plenty of space to the big three in this second half. Just trying to crash over his croaker from dummy half. Still time, still tackles on this set of six. Very deep as Daly with big numbers. DeVico, right in front of the post. Will he rush? Will he think about it now? Stewart said if they want him, where's the pressure? All the time in the world, that is too easy from a real professional. Make that field goal, field goal number four in 95 to give them some sort of comfort. Well, I've been waiting for this to happen. They've got to score twice now, the Auckland Warriors. Very, very professionally done. Andy Platt didn't agree with it. Stewart's field goal is the one that's done it. The Raiders know now the Warriors have to score twice. Walters. It's the first time really he skirted out a dummy half tonight. The best in the business at that. Sidera's done well for the Auckland Warriors, but Stevie Walters, that's a special. Ricky! Bit of room for him, taken on and well taken by Namu. Hanging on the Warriors, 18 and a half minutes remaining. Stewart, nobody home, needs to win the chase. Kerwin read it well, covered it up, just a little bit too strong. Quick restart coming up from the Warriors. Tired bunch, yet they've got to come up with something special. Find bus from Wiggy. Well, that's the thing. We've got a good pass here from Laurie Daly, and this is what they are capable of, the Raiders, all night. So many great players in their lineup. But the three in particular, Do uh, Clyde, Stewart, and Daly, the best three in the world at that position. Travelled over during the week was Peter Fadilofa was returning after the Barbarians match that opposition. Half has really started to come back towards the Raiders. Congratulations to Peter and family stretching it to five kids during the week as well. Chance for Jones here on the break. Now it's turning up for Nagus and plenty of support. Managed to score a try against the Wallabies Wednesday night. Didn't know it was a charity game. <laughs> 43 metres away now for Canberra. DeVico. One thing about the Raiders, they can find a front row forward, Tony. <laughs> they certainly can. They've got a few good forwards out there. Well, tre tremendous forward pack, actually. And they're using that little inside ball well, but Ricky Stewart just controlling everything. Him and Laurie Daly. It's all a little planned move going straight here. Well, they've got to find something. Kelvin Jeff's getting in the way of Greg Alexander. Tony, the Warriors do seem to play faster now. You're not in the team. Seems a lot faster now. <laughs> you mean the Raiders? <laughs> Is that the White Raiders, yeah. I mean? Yeah, but they haven't. They, they miss old me and Lazar of those big hit-ups back in the old days when they didn't have that 10-yard roll. That's when we were lethal. <laughs> Just give yourself a wrap any time, Johnny. It's OK. <laughs> This is where Kelvin Jeffs couldn't get out of the way of Alexander. Betts, short ball up. Handling mistakes tonight against the Raiders. Few of them. Superb display from both teams in the conditions. Well, that is a tribute to rugby league. Great handling, great skill shown out there tonight. Plenty of ball movement. Slippery conditions with both side, sides passing it around. Chance. Jones floating it, needing it to sit up, well taken by Cohen, infield, taken by Stewart, here come the Warriors, digging deep, needing to hit back, Alexander wants support, got it from Platt, difficult ball, Bell, chance to the corner, Hoppy goes infield, back for Blackmore, loses it, taken by the Raiders, how many times have they come up with a save at the end? Desperate defence. Thought they had it, but the sliding defence was superb here. The sliding defence just coming across. Dean Bell did very well here, giving it to 
Sean Hoppy. He normally would have scored from that situation, but he's up against the champion side. Everybody's scrambling all over. Great attack, great defence. Bell thought he might have nearly got a try. DeVico. This sellout crowd on a cold and wet night in Auckland still with their home team. Kerwin back down to his own 10. Taken, wrapped up. Long haul back for the Warrior Pack. Graham, I've said it before and I'll say it again. John Kerwin will be, will be a lethal weapon next year with his pre-season training. Just give him that extra bit of edge. He'll really be dynamic. He's a great player this year, but he's going to be even much better next year. Silenced a lot of critics, thought he couldn't do it. Great first up season for him. Jones goes without. Bell. Still pumping it out. 14 minutes. Jones pushing it. Fanamu to Curl. Big defence from Wiki and also Daly. Tough two to get away from. Over the head, this one, of Mandruku. One on one. And Stacy Jones comes up with a fine tackle. Clyde on the spot. But they cut him in half. Great play from Clyde, though, to get back there in position to cart the ball up when needed. Croker. 30 metres out. They got the big start to the game, the Warriors. Can they find the big finish? Lomax to go alone. Takes them past the 40 to set it up for the kick. Stewart, a mile of time. To the heaviest section of this Ericsson Stadium. It was a pretty ordinary kick then from Ricky Stewart. Not much pressure behind it, not much distance behind it. Should he just wellied it down into the end goal area. Betts has taken the ball up strongly tonight. Oh, yeah. Needs somebody in this back line to find some magic. Great hands from Hoppy. Not so great the pass back in field. Croker had support, didn't use Mullins, who was unmarked. Quick turnaround of possession. What they love, the Raiders. 30 metres away. Daly. For Wicky. Now for Lomax to head it towards the post. Cast them to only 10 metres away. Stewart's there if he wants to think about one more. Walters, just from dummy half. And Wesley will set it up right in front of the sticks. Last tackle. Already got the seven-point stretch. Kick back for Mullins. On his fingertips. Set play. Magic between the two of them. He nearly got there. Reminder, 11.30 coming up tomorrow, Western Manly. And the Sharks up against the Roosters Sunday night, 6pm, all coming your way. On two sports action, the Cup Final Series starting September 1. Can the Warriors find their way there to league headquarters? Still with about ten and a half minutes. Bell will play it short of halfway. Eru. Outstanding game out there tonight. Tremendous young player. Beautifully half volleyed by Jones and fine ball out for Rapati. Cohen thought about it, hung on to it. Jones. Namu. Bell not quite expecting it. Now Hoppy with a bit of space. 
thought about a kick, goes infield, gets away from Clyde, loses it behind, crowd was calling for a high tackle on Hoppy, Kelvin Jeff saw it, said there was nothing to it, Nagus, just letting it slip, late in the tackle counts, <laughs> I don't think there was too much in that, really. Just swinging around. Another penalty for the Raiders. Worked hard, flat again. And Blake will still have a chance of doing something special with about nine the minutes remaining. Well, they need all their attackers out there, the Warriors, now, Walton. because throw caution to the wind. The season is now hinging on these last eight or nine minutes. Who's going to drag it out of the fire for them, Tony? Well, it's going to be one of the star players, Ricky Stewart or uh, David Fern, one of those, one of those players, or Laurie Daly or Clyde, you know. But I tell you, the Warriors haven't given up. With eight minutes to go, they're still in this game. You can easily score two tries in eight minutes. They will have this scrum up, and that possession in the opposition half stack was two to one at one stage in favour of the Warriors. Jones, Alexander Blake, the little man, the quick man, pretty much the keys to the last eight and a half minutes. Bell. Been dreaming all week of a fine finish. The party's back on the bench. Still the Ericsson Stadium faithful, think they can do it. Alexander still found time to set Kearney on his way. I think the most important factor is the Warriors players still think they can do it. They're playing with plenty of spirit and flair. Nobody's given up. Blake just haven't been able to find a way through that sliding defence out wide. Alexander, a real tester for Mullins. Ten out of ten. They're just as dangerous from this end of the field from situations like this. Absolutely sensational skill, this well up off the ground. Plenty of pressure, but he handled it just like the true champion that he is. Now, Stewart. Interesting decision from Tim Sheens at the start of the year, Toddy, to give the captaincy to Ricky Stewart ahead of Laurie Daly. Well, you know, Ricky and Tim have gone on very well even at the time I was there, and Ricky has a lot to say out there. He controls the, the game, even though I think, you know, Laurie Daly's got equal amount of ability. I mean, you've got two captains out there, really. They both talk to each other, but I think Ricky probably gets his forwards going more than Laurie does because he's closer to them, and when I was playing, he really revs you up and gets, gets you going forward, and I think that, that's a big plus. Just happy to go to the sideline. Not concerned about eating up time. Well, that's all they have to do now, just eat up the time, control things with their defence. Plenty of experience out there in green jumpers tonight. Some of the best players in the world. And they still want to get more. Alexander. It's getting to the desperate stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember the same of you. Please just the match. 38 metres away from their own line. Raiders' defence has been immaculate. Occasini might get a chance at about five minutes at this one. Eru, his runs in the second half have been valuable. Last tackle. Someone's got to gamble. They stay with the midfield bombs. And it's coughed up. Oh, brilliantly dragged in by Mullins. Number of times that they've tried to test him in the air. They keep up coming up with the goods, Canberra. Ocasini makes the tackle as Platt gets the early mark. Eyes off the scoreboard. Devico, Tomales in his second 40. 
Edrington. And Lomax. Taken nicely by Tom Mavavi. Vico wants some more. Kept the game pretty tight amongst the forwards. The vital stages, the Raiders. Stewart just in behind the line for Daly. Needs to put it on the toe. It will be too strong. Just. Again, the great combination. Put it down to Stewart and Daly, the reasons why they are the favourites to take out the cup again. And also put it down to awareness. Laurie Daly always ready to explode at any time into the game and turn just really ordinary play into great play. Kerwin. Big 40 minutes from Daly. Scored a try. Played on another to give them the lead. Jones. Looks to his skipper bell. Loses it. And with four minutes only on the clock, that might be it. Hetherington. Back for Ferner. Pushed back now for Tongia. Got to think about all the close ones here at Ericsson. This tackle's just against the Raiders. Started off where they really stretched the Broncos. Could nearly have got home in that one. Had Manly struggling for most of the match here. And a great test here against Canberra. That's why I think, not, not saying anything disrespectful about this year, but I think next year, I truly believe that they can come out and win the Super League. I think they've got the players, they've had the grounding this year, they know what it's all about. I think they'll be a major threat next year. Daly thinks about a field goal. Hits the post, denied by a coat of paint. Namu. Stepping back out to the 20. Head clash with Ferner. Has to happen in this set of six. Tom Mavavi for Alexander. They're tired, the Warriors. They've had to come up with so much defense in the second 40. The drums still beating. Maybe, though, for the last time in 95 as they give it back to the Raiders. Stewart. Talking about Control the game. Well, Ricky Stewart is a great captain, a great competitor, probably one of the, one of the most, if not the most competitive player in the Stewart game of rugby league. Wesley. Just lights and gets away. Bet's on the ground behind him. Last two minutes of the game. Daly again. Great short ball up. No fear. Daly had to take a very heavy tackle to get rid of that one. Still involved again now for Pongia. And Wiki. Wiki trying to get away. Daly. Might do it himself. Five metres out. Only last tackle. Jones cannot get out of there. They'll get it back again. So professional. The green machine well and truly oiled up here at Ericsson. Well, I think that even the most ardent Warriors supporters in the world, the Canberra Raiders out there tonight, they've really shown what a champion side's all about, what a champion display's all about. Coming to a hostile environment over here, they've handled it just like true professionals. Last 60 seconds, big effort from them, Tony. And still a chance. Namu needs support. Has it coming from Tua Mavavi. Still need to stretch it. Quick play the ball required. 40 seconds only. Fighting for a big finish. Jones with Alexander. Everybody's standing flat. Somebody's got to put the foot down. 20 seconds only. They've given it their best. Kearney gets away. Kearney. Great ball back up for Jones. Standing, looking for support. 
throwing everything into this last play of the ball, last tackle, five seconds only. Can they nail one? One more slice of entertainment for 95 at Ericsson. So close. They stretched them. They made Canberra show everybody why they are the Premiers. Congratulations, Canberra. The Warriors will start thinking about next week. For Dean Belly can't finish on home soil with a victory. Quite an effort. Sellout crowd. Great game to finish off their home season. 15 to 8 to the Raiders. We're back to wrap up the 95 season here in New Zealand.